Hello, I'm Sean Powers, and in today's micro nugget from CBT Nuggets, we're going to learn how to monitor our Bitcoin miners or Litecoin miners with Anubis, which is a web based interface to the CG miner application. We're going to use Linux because that's how I roll, and it's not a terribly difficult process. So, let me show you what you have to have before we start, and then we'll walk through the process of setting up Anubis. Now for your virtual shopping list, you're gonna have to have a couple things set up. We're gonna be using an Ubuntu server, so you don't need to have the GUI installed, but you have to have Ubuntu installed with Apache 2 and MySQL server installed. If you're doing a, a fresh install, you're gonna want the LAMP server component that installs uh, Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. You just need to have those installed and ready to serve files. Then you'll have to have CG Miner going. Now CG Miner will run ASIC Bitcoin miners. It will run GPUs in your system to mine Bitcoins. And it even in some versions will allow you to mine Litecoins, which is a different cryptocurrency altogether. And then of course you will need the Anubis software, which can be downloaded from GitHub at this address right here, github.com forward slash pshep forward slash capital A-N-U-B-I-S. Once you gather those things, we're gonna go to our system, get them installed and monitor and control our CG miner applications from the web. Okay, on my system here, I'm actually connected to two different remote Linux machines. This is my Anubis server, just called Ubuntu server, freshly installed with Linux, Apache, MySQL, PHP, the LAMP server stack, it's ready to go. And here you can see Apache is working and installed just by typing in the, the address of my server. It says it's it's working, it returns the default web page. that's awesome. And over here is one of my Bitcoin miners. I'm actually lining, mining Litecoin right now, but I'm SSH'd into this. This can be a Windows-based CG miner. It doesn't have to be Linux. Again, that's just how I roll. We're gonna have to edit this command or this configuration file in just a second. First things first, we are on the Ubuntu server. Let's go to var www. And you'll see in here is this index.html file. Now that is what this file is right here. This is the file that's served by default is this index.html. We're actually going to move that. You'll notice I'm logged in as root right now, so I have full access to the system. I've actually used that sudo command to become root. Rather than delete this file, I just like to rename it something and get it out of the way. And then we're going to download the Anubis software that I mentioned. Here I'm at, I'm at that website right now. So here's the link to download the program. I'm gonna copy that link, come over here to my server, type wget, paste in the URL, We'll see I have master.zip. Just gonna unzip that. Well, first I'm going to install unzip. <laughs> All right, we'll unzip master. We'll see it put everything in a folder. I'm gonna move everything in that folder to the current directory. So here we have all of the files in the current directory. We need to create a MySQL database, which is fairly simple. To do that, we're actually going to type MySQL minus user. Now this server was installed just for Anubis, so I'm gonna use the root account, probably not the best security wise. If you wanna create a special account for this on your MySQL server, that's a good idea. Dash P, that way it will prompt us for the password. Now the password is set when you install the system. I'll enter that. Now I'm in the MySQL prompt. Here we're going to create database Anubis. The database has been created and that's all there is to it. Now we can actually quit. Type quit. Now we need to edit the configuration file to point Anubis to that database. I'm gonna use VI. You can use any editor you want. The file is actually config.inc.php. Inside here, you'll see here are our options. The database name, if you remember, I just created that. It's actually just Anubis. The username is the one that, again, I'm using the root account for MySQL, you can use another user account if you set it up using probably the most insecure password ever for my MySQL database. You probably want to change that as well, but this is how to do it. And then down here, by default, it's checked to use MySQL as opposed to SQLite. So this is already by default set up for us. Just need to save this file. Again, dbhost is localhost. Everything's hosted on this same server. So we're all set there. The configuration file has been done. Let's actually go to our server, let's refresh it. it, should now show us the Anubis 
information. Sure enough, here we have Anubis set up. We actually need to add a host, but before we do that, we need to configure our host. And that is over here. This is our CG Miner program. So before we edit the file, I'm going to quit my miner. So the miner has stopped. Now we can edit. My configuration file is actually ltc.conf. And in here, there are a few things you'll probably have to add to your configuration. Or if you're adding it to the a batch file and it's all in the command line, that's fine. I just prefer to set up the configuration file. The things you're going to have to add are API dash listen, set that to true. API network, set that to true. And then if you want to be able to save the configuration files from the web interface, add this, this directive, api-allow. And then this is the tricky part, a capital W colon, and then the IP address or the DNS name of the server that's going to be interacting with your miner. And those are the things you'll add. Everything else here is already configured for me to do my mining with. Those you don't have to mess with. You just have to add these API flags, API listen, API network. And if you want to save your configuration from the website to your local miner, API allow, W colon, the IP address or domain name. So this is all set up for me. I'm going to start my miner. You'll see when it starts up, it actually tells us, hey, the IP, it, the API is running. So that's awesome. The default port is 4028, which is the port we want to use. Now over here on Anubis, when we add host, pick a name, I'm gonna say Miner3. The IP or host name, it's Miner3 on my network. Again, that default port is 4028. And if you want to set for statistic purposes what the hash rate you expect to get, you can set it there. Otherwise, you can leave this blank. Click Save. And then we can see all sorts of statistics on the miner as it's mining along. Now, interestingly, this miner of mine actually has some hardware issues, so I am getting some hardware errors. And I know that because of these statistics showing right in Anubis. You can add any number of miners to this so that you have a one-stop shop for seeing all of your miners in play. And it's not terribly difficult to set up once you add those few lines to your CG miner flag. One hint, if you do have have a problem connecting, you might want to actually use the IP address of your Anubis server in the CG Miner configuration file. Sometimes it doesn't do hostname lookups very well. But that's all there is to setting up Anubis to monitor CG Miner for Bitcoin mining. I hope that this has been informative and I'd like to thank you for viewing.